I did a project on a Lorenz attractor, and somebody in the comment section said, oh, you should look at a Chua circuit, which I'd never seen before. Uh, and so this is a uh, article here on the Chua circuit, or something called the Chua's circuit. Um, it was invented by uh, Dr. Chua. He is an MIT graduate who uh, went to, I think, the Midwest to get his PhD. I forget. Anyway, he ended up at Berkeley uh, teaching. And so uh, this particular circuit was invented in 1983. So after I graduated from college, um, and uh, people were interested in uh, the Lorentz equations, the ones that I did on the other board, and he wanted to see if there was a simpler way to do it. What, is, what was the minimum you needed to have a chaotic system? And so we came up with this circuit on the right here, the Chua circuit. And it's kind of a strange looking circuit. There's an LC circuit, which can oscillate, okay, LCs. And then there's this weird circuit on the right, and the two are connected with a resistor. So the circuit on the right is what's called Chua's diode. So he imagined a nonlinear diode and um, said, if you could build such a thing, then you could make this thing oscillate. So you have a slope uh, and, and you have an LC circuit, so you can imagine this thing sloshing back and forth. And then there's some coordinate breaks on the diode, so it will act differently depending on voltages. It, it will have different slopes, right? They'll have a slope in the middle and then two slopes on the, on the two edges. Um, and so this thing called Chua's diode. Now, can you build an actual Chua's diode? This is theoretical. Turns out you can. Um, and it looks like this circuit here on the right. You can do it with a couple op amps. And so that's the way that you implement a Chua's diode. Now, on the left-hand side, you still need an inductor and a capacitor. But I did a series once on gyrators. And gyrators can turn capacitors into inductors. So you could use a gyrator on this side and a Chua's diode on this side. And with the gyrator and the chua, you put them together with this uh, resistor so they kind of feed back across each other. Anyway, it's kind of a weird thing. You end up with these cool chaotic uh, XY displays. And uh, here's some equations that would uh, tell you what's going on. You can read all of this for yourself. And there's some at MATLAB simulations and blah, 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 blah. Um, anyway, uh, I thought I would build one. And... Um, the benefit of building this particular circuit is going to be inexpensive. So let's take a look at that. And now that you've seen what the picture looks like, I just wanted to briefly say, you can imagine this as there's a, there's a, a small slope, a small slope, and then a large slope. So it basically, you can run over here, you can kind of have your oscillator and have it chaotic kind of along this slope. And then every once in a while, if you come too close to this cliff, whoosh, you come over to this side and then you kind of go over here again. So you can imagine that you're, 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 these are your two points of, of uh, kind of semi-stable chaotic theory. You, you've got one where you can, you can oscillate over here and one where you can oscillate over here. And then if you sort of get a little off kilter, whoosh, you go to the other side and do it over here. So yeah, zip around here, zip around here, and then there's a path to go between the two. So that's my hand wave on how the circuit works. All right, we're in KiCad here. KiCad, KiCad, whatever you want to say. And um, so uh, we talked about the diode. So this is the Chua diode over here. And uh, they're identical circuits, but one has a different... Uh, Let's see, this one is 220 ohms, this one is 22K ohms, so that they have very different characteristics. Um, and then over here, we have the gyrator, so this should look familiar. I didn't talk about gyrator oscillators, but that's a thing. So this is a gyrator oscillator, um, so it can uh, whack back and forth. And uh, yeah, so that's all you need. That, 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 that's it. It's very simple, and there's only four op amps. I used a quad op amp package, and so it's only one device. 
Um, and it's a cheap device, uh, TL084, TL074, whatever you want to use there. Um, and then a little bit of bypassing for the, for the power and ground. So yeah, there you go. And then we should get a picture that looks something like that after we're all done with it. So let's do a PC board. And uh, here is my PC board. So we have uh, the, um, get rid of the ground pour here. You get the 14 pin quad op amp in here and put some parts around it and you end up with this cute little board and uh, yeah, away you go. Um, so I think I'll send this off to uh, PCBWay, have it built and then uh, show you guys how it works.